This is the Hilton Surpass card, and for many, many years, I always touted that this card is basically a get the card, get the welcome offer, and then get out. But let's just say I just had an experience with this specific credit card that has actually changed my mind on this card going forward. And this experience changed my mind so much that I actually think the Hilton Surpass card is actually one of the best hotel cards that you could actually possibly get on the market today. Now, I know those are big shoes to fill, but stick around. I guarantee you're going to hear some things that you've never heard before. So cutting right to the Amex... Right, that's how the phrase goes, right? Cutting right to the Amex. Cutting right to it, since the changes that American Express actually made on the Hilton credit cards has led to a lot of people actually being a little bit upset about the changes and or not knowing what to do with the changes. Two of the biggest changes on the Hilton Surpass card was one, the raising of the annual fee from $95 to $150, and then also the introduction of a $200 hotel credit that you get every single year just by holding this card, broken down into $50 increments every single quarter. Now, of course, on the surface, when you look at the most generic and vanilla way to actually use this which is you know paying for a hotel in cash with your Hilton surpass card and that'll deduct the $50 from that stay so for example you go to book this true hotel for $150 after you pay with your Surpass card, it'll deduct the $50, meaning you just had to pay $100 out of pocket. Now, for a lot of us in this game who have points and miles, we want to book this true hotel, this $150 hotel, for as little as pocket as possible. And if we have points, $0 out of pocket, right? Which I agree with. I'm the same way. And for that alone, I don't think this credit is actually worth it. But let's just say I recently used it in such a way that has allowed me to get hotels completely for free if you're willing to work for it. Let me explain. So one of the main things I've been doing over the last few months of holding this card, I've talked about it on live streams and whatnot, but basically I've been going on HiltonGiftCards.com, paying with the Hilton Surpass card for a $50 gift card, paying the $1.95, whatever it is for delivery fee, they send it to the house, and that does actually code towards the hotel credit, aka you can build up $50 gift cards towards Hilton every single quarter, thus at the end of the year, you'll get $200 worth of gift cards that are just basically sitting around. So at face value, you might be thinking like, huh, okay, I have $200 in gift cards now, but what can I really do with that? Is that actually as valuable as cash or points or what, what are they worth, Anthony? And that again, at least the surface level, the generic way to use a gift card would be to maybe go to a Hilton owned restaurant that's at some of these properties and you could actually pay with your said gift card. Thus, if you're staying at a Hilton or even not staying at a Hilton, you could bring your gift cards and maybe have a night out with your significant other and get that discounted by $50, $100, $200, however big a dinner you want to go for or how many gift cards that you've actually accumulated, right? And then I started thinking, I started thinking, huh, what if I use these gift cards towards a Hilton hotel stay itself, right? Why couldn't I use $150 in Hilton gift cards towards that $150 Hilton true stay that we talked about earlier? I decided to go and test it myself because that's when you know things are absolutely true. So what I did was I was on a trip with Calby anyway to Knoxville, Tennessee. I ended up staying in this nice embassy suite in Hilton, Knoxville West. So what did I do on my way down to Knoxville, Tennessee? I decided to call this embassy suites over the phone. I know, uh, archaic, right? Spoke to the representative on the phone, was able to book a room really, really quickly. To which you guys will probably laugh at this to show how shysty I really am. But basically, I reserved the stay over the phone. They said, okay, we have a king suite available. And it was $190. And I was like, a suite? Uh, what if I want a lower room? And I asked them, can I have like a lower valued room that's some maybe cheaper? I want to get it as cheap as possible. To which they said, oh no, we only have suites at this hotel. So I guess go figure with the name, Embassy Suites. So then I agreed to the king suite after just asking for a downgrade. And then what did I do just a couple minutes after when she asked if there was any other accommodations? I said, huh, do you, actually, do you have any room upgrades available? <laughs> I'm gold status, right? Like, give me some room upgrades. And before we get into the gift card trick, it really was a nice stay. It had EV charging for the mobile office. It had a nice downstairs bar area. It was close to everything we wanted to get to. And the room itself was really, really expansive, right? It had a living room. It had a bedroom, a conjoined bathroom, and a decent view of the highway. To which I didn't even realize, but apparently there was a squirrel across the street that my wife told me. Look at that brown squirrel across the street. What brown squirrel? The brown squirrel. Uh... I don't see a brown squirrel. There's a massive brown squirrel across the street. Uh, how far across? Like across. Oh, that? <laughs> But then it came down to the wire. Checkout time came and I realized I have to actually try this gift card method. Can I actually use these gift cards to book this 190 stay that I just stayed in for the night, right? So I went downstairs, talked to the person who was manning the front desk. They asked if I was checking out and then I said yes and I handed him two gift cards worth $50 each, so $100 total in Hilton Honors gift cards that we got from the Surpass Hotel credit. To which it looks like he was kind of surprised a little bit to actually 
get these and he wasn't sure what to do with them at first to which he then asked me he was like you know how much is on these i said yes 50 dollars each to which he then manually typed in the numbers on all the gift cards on there and lo and behold he accepted both gift cards and now that 190 dollars stay has now been discounted to just 90 dollars just because i had these two gift cards so at least i know i can call on the phone reserve the hotel pay at checkout with the gift cards and there should be no issues. Look again at the Hilton Surpass card, right? Like you have a $150 annual fee, but you get a $200 hotel credit. So essentially $200 worth for just paying $150 worth every single year. So $50 in profit travel value that you can reap the benefits from this card alone. And if you think about that a little bit further, think about it. That's like fairly similar to the Hilton Aspire's $200 resort credit once every six months, right? <laughs> but that is actually way more limiting because that can only be used towards resort properties within the Hilton portfolio. These $200 in gift cards could be used towards any property in the Hilton portfolio for just a fraction of the annual fee. Now, of course, the Aspire is a whole nother game. You get a free night certificate. You get another $200 towards the resort credits. You get diamond set. You get a million different things. But the Surpass is no slouch either. And maybe if you were somebody who really could value these gift cards, maybe you could just have an army of gift cards. Like maybe me and my wife can get the Surpass card, pay $300 in annual fees, but get $400 in hotel credits every single year. That's kind of like a free night certificate every single year but just for a 300 dollars annual fee i don't know just something to think about now kind of different but a little bit in the same situation and something i realized as well just by holding the hilton surpass card alone is when i actually called up to make that reservation right to book this embassy suites but what ended up happening was as soon as she asked me if i was i had some sort of status with hilton and i said i had gold status which technically the hilton surpass actually gives you she immediately after that asked me if i could be transferred to hilton grand vacations which you guys know is their timeshare properties it's where they try to sell you a timeshare package and usually give you a little bit of benefits just by attending the timeshare and usually get a discounted package for you know a two-day stay a four-day stay whatever what have you and i remember reading somewhere in the past that if you have gold status or diamond and you book a reservation over the phone this almost happens like every single time. As soon as they see you have status, because when you have gold status on the phone, they don't realize that you got it through maybe an Amex Platinum card or a Hilton Surpass or a Hilton Aspire. They just think you stayed 40 nights or 60 nights to attain those status. So they think you got money, right? So that's why they want to push you over to Hilton Timeshares because you're a valued customer. You spend a lot of money at Hilton's, right? So that is in itself very, very valuable for a few reasons. Now, let me explain. So basically I said, yes, transmit over the timeshare person because I know I can get some deals out out of that and i know how the game works so basically they transferred me over and they on the phone they just ask you uh we have these portfolios we have these locations which one of these locations seems interesting i said orlando vegas or hawaii because apparently i have ones on hawaii as well and then they start rattling off the packages right okay we have an orlando package that's 199 dollars you can get four days and three nights and that usually is over a thousand dollars but now you're getting it for you know 70 percent off just if you attend our two-hour timeshare meeting and you get it completely 70 percent off right sound fair enough to which i said no <laughs> it's not fair enough because i know we can get way more benefits for that so what did i do i said you know what i've heard that you can actually uh get a lot of points like a hundred hundred thousand or more points sometimes get it for free is there any offers like that available to which the whole time up until that point they thought i was just a dope right they're just like oh really a timeshare package but if you know the game you can kind of play it and then she was kind of taken aback for a second and then she said oh i'm so glad you asked actually let me check right here okay so since you are a gold member you know gold status I want to offer you something because, you know, we're we're friends, right? Like, we're, we're good people, the timeshare people. We're friends with you. So let me offer you this. We're going to offer you, since we're such good friends, here's what I'm going to offer you. I'm going to offer you that $199 package that we just described, right? Four days, three nights. But once you attend that two-hour timeshare, we're going to give you an attach, a cashback option to which once you finish the timeshare, you get the full $199 back. So essentially a completely free stay. And then even on top of that, we're going to give you a gift card of $200, <laughs> Go figure, right? Another $200 gift card to be used at any Hilton property within the next 12 months, something like that, right? And you just have to use this entire package within the next 12 months. To which I said, that's an amazing offer for sure. And if I actually was planning to make those stays happen, 
I probably would have taken that offer for a free stay and a $200 gift card, not too bad, but I know you can kind of push it a little bit instead of that $200 gift card, sometimes get 100,000 points, which could be worth like five, six, seven hundred dollars worth of value, so I think that's way better. So which I decline that offer because I know I can get better offers in the future, etc., and I don't want to commit to the $200 today. And trust me, they really try to get you to commit. As soon as I said I can't commit to 200 today, she started getting nasty on the phone, and she said, okay, well, I'm going to take away the cash back, I'm going to take away the gift card, I'm going to take away all the offers I gave you, and uh, have a good day. <laughs> And that was basically it. So I was like, all right, I made her upset. Oh no. You know, <laughs> so what can you do? But that, uh, the reason I bring this up is there is some merit to, well, maybe calling the reservation instead of booking through points on the app, using the gift cards in this way, but then also getting that complimentary gold status, whether it's from the surpass or from the platinum card, something like that. And using that as leverage to look like a high value target for the timeshare people to where you can reap a lot of benefits from their properties. I mean, they offered me a property completely for free, actually paying me $200 to go there right in the heart of Disney Springs, Orlando. So that's pretty crazy, right? That's good value that a lot of people don't talk about just by holding the gold status. On the same topic of gold status, another thing that I think still doesn't get talked about enough and something that's super underrated is the dining credits, right? The dining credits that come with certain brands of Hilton properties, right? We're talking Double Trees, Curios, Tapestries, Conrad's, Waldorf's. Uh, I think even some Hilton Garden Inns have it. There's a bunch of different brands that give you dining credits towards the on-site restaurant or bar, whatever is actually there every single day of your stay. My best example of this was my stay at Wilmington, North Carolina, the Hotel Ballast. It was a tapestry location and gave us, since you're allowed two people on your reservations to benefit from that dining credit, they gave us $30 every single day towards the on-site restaurant and I got a burger every single day that we stayed there. So about $150 worth of <laughs> food that we got at this hotel, which you got to bake that into the total value that you do when you stay with Hilton's. Especially if you're someone like myself who only likes to eat out maybe one or two times at a given area because restaurants are expensive, and then the rest of the time stay at the hotel if they have a nice restaurant and eat there because, well, it's subsidized, right? Why am I not going to take the $30, the $50 every single day in daily dining credits? If I got it, come on now, I got to use that. <laughs> Which again, if you're like someone who doesn't want to get a platinum card, who values Hilton hotels, and this is your only way of getting Hilton gold status, then the Hilton Surpass is infinitely invaluable because, well, just that stay alone, getting $150 worth of burgers for free for money that I was going to spend on restaurants there anyway and that vacation, pretty much paid completely the annual fee on the Hilton Surpass card in one five days stay like that's that's crazy another thing that i don't personally do because i just don't have that amount of spend or that amount of taxes owed at the end of each year but i know a lot of people who have that amount of spend will put it and funnel it through the hilton surpass card to spend that fifteen thousand dollars every single year and get a free night certificate from spending it all on the surpass card alone do i recommend that probably not unless you're just hilton loyalist no other cards there's one card set up then sure but i don't think that's most people watching this video anyway but it is at least out there if you are interested in it the other thing is the multipliers i do think the multipliers are a little bit slept on even though i'm not necessarily a multiplier earner i don't really spend a lot on credit cards alone i basically chase welcome offers but just look at the multipliers just in case you're interested 3x back on everything 4x back on online retail purchases which is actually new so this is large marketplaces boutique retailers department stores home supply and apparel stores and more and I know that's generic, so I'll put on the screen right here of people who actually put that data together to show which department stores you can actually get the Forex back on. 6x back on restaurants, U.S. supermarkets, and U.S. gas stations. So basically a 6x back on all your food and traveling expenses and whatnot. Which, aka, if you are valuing your Hilton points at 0.5, like a minimum that I've seen out there, you know, that's a 3x back on all of those purchases as well, which is fairly hard to come by in some cases. At least to have one card to have grocery, gas, and restaurants all in one, not bad. But for the most part, the points that you're accumulating is to be used towards more Hilton hotels, so you have to be the right person. And then of course, the 12 points per dollar spend when you're booking through Hilton hotels through your Hilton Surpass card, which then on top of that, you're also getting 10 base points per dollar spend when you just book a Hilton hotel itself, which is then amplified by the gold status from the Surpass card, giving you an 80% boost, aka 18 points per dollar spend. So for example, if you pay for a $100 Hilton stay with your Hilton Surpass card, you're getting 30 points per dollar spend, aka three thousand points for that stay which would be worth like maybe fifteen dollars back or a fifteen percent return on that spend that you made on the hilton surpass card which is 
also not too bad <laughs> if you think about it, right? And to top it all off, there's a welcome offer of 155,000 Hilton Honors points that are probably worth about $800 in value for spending $3,000 in the first six months of actually opening the card. So about $500 every single month to get that bonus, which I think is actually a pretty good welcome offer to actually hit still on that card, even though I'm still holding out faith that they'll add a free night certificate to a welcome offer at some point down the road again but who really knows? So yeah, that's why I think the Hilton Surpass card is probably more powerful than you would possibly think, at least at face value. And if you want to scoop up that card, of course, you can scan the QR code on the screen right now. That'll take you to Ryan Direct Offer, which I appreciate you and give you a hearty handshake in advance. And if you want to see the complete breakdown of all the changes of the Hilton cards recently, you can watch this video here. So I hope to see you there. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching.